Can All right, so me and Sandy are a little bit of impatient parents. We have an amazing secret for the kids. Hey, what do you think? This is so funny. All right, you guys want to come out? Yeah! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Wait, 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 wait! In this video, we're going to show you what a day in the life looks like for full-time RVers. Unschoolers. And all-around digital nomads. Let's go! So in the morning, just like everybody else, we have to wake up and make our kids breakfast. Today we're doing pancakes with blueberries. Blueberries, blueberries, lots, lots of blueberries in my pancake. The funny thing is, 90% of the kids don't like blueberries. I like blueberries, so I I'm like gonna, blueberries. I'm gonna make some blueberry pancakes. Sometimes when you live in an RV and you come from Florida, there might be some ants in your syrup. So the kids right now are searching for some ants. We gotta, we gotta hold it up to the light and see if there's any ants in there. Ah, there's something floating in there, but you're good, guys. You're good. All right, okay. how's your guys' breakfast so far? Terrible. Good. I wish we had syrup. How's your breakfast so far? All right, what's it say next? Only three days. The first thing we do when we wake up in the morning is we do our chores. JK. Oh. Oh. Right, what do you find down there? So I went shopping and I find this ratty little dog. What are you doing here? All right, okay. Sky, what do you got? This, this was my whole childhood right here. No. Yeah. <laughs> right. Not done until I put the curtains up. Okay, so mine is done. Where is everybody? Do you mind knocking first? Christmas lights are all around. So a lot of people ask us how we do school and how we educate our kids while we're on the road. And what we use is OutSchool, primarily for all of our kids learning, besides going on field trips and doing a lot of hands-on adventures and experiences. And it's funny because we do live in a very small space, 350 square feet. And so each kid has their spot that they like to work in. Ryder's at the front desk, Sky's in the back desk, and Nixon starts a class in a little bit. And she'll probably either do it in her bunk or on the couch. Although when she has acting class, she likes to sit in the car because she can get as loud as she needs to and really let loose with acting and she feels more comfortable. So we all make it work. We all find a way to, to get it done and the kids love it. So I'm taking a hamster hangout club class on out school and I am so excited because we get to make these little like stairs for them and it's like a ninja parkour setup and I really, 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 really want a hamster. Okay, I gotta get back to work because this class is about to start. Another huge element with OutSchool, and a lot of people ask us because I post about it a lot, is the extensive list of classes that they offer. I mean, over 140,000 classes, it's just mind blowing to think what people are teaching these days, you know? And so I know all three of our kids have 100% completely different interests. Now they can do classes that are weekly, that are multiple times a week, that are just one-off classes where it's like, oh, I just want to learn about that. Like Ryder, what, what are some of the classes that you really enjoy? I love learning with Roblox and I love playing Adopt Me Mr. Blair class. Oh yeah? And, what and are... also my, um, what's it called, my German class and my Spanish class. So you're learning new languages? Yeah. I love that. I love actually listening to you learning German because I've never learned German and it's so uh, it's so fascinating. Guten Tag. <laughs> uh, like Ryder, he, he's not really a fan of writing and so he recently took a private tutoring class where the teacher is working with him and it's Roblox versus Minecraft. So it's something that a nine-year-old is super interested in. I love the, the different angles on how to teach kids. All right, so another thing that was really important to us as parents is we wanted to make sure whatever platform that we did use or whatever resource was the kids actually enjoyed it and really benefited from it. So what are some of the things that you really enjoy? Okay, so I really like Procreate detective classes. I really like art classes and I've been taking this green room acting club class. I like escape room classes. I like history classes and there's a lot that I like. <laughs> We've been using OutSchool for a while, but when I saw how really impactful it was on kids' lives was she took a young entrepreneur class, started her own business. I mean, what I 
what happened was insane. We've made many videos about it. It really sparked the whole young entrepreneur in her that we didn't even know was there. And so out school like seriously transforms kids. Like they they have access to things that if you're in school, you just don't have access to. I know, Jimmy knows, we've all been there. It's you're pretty much told what you're gonna learn throughout the day, throughout the year, year after year. There's really not room for anything outside of that because once you're out of school, you have to do your homework and then just, you know, rinse and repeat. And so, you know, there's benefits to every way of learning, but I feel like for our kids, this is just absolutely perfect. This is the art piece that I did last week. You did? Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Jimmy sounds really ass. <laughs> so I yeah. showed you that last week. Oh, so, see what I mean? All right, so really what sparked this whole thing seven years ago was when we took the kids out of school was Sky right here is exactly like me when I was little. Sitting at a desk all day in a classroom is definitely not the learning style for this child right here. So when we saw what other people were doing, there's alternative lifestyles of road schooling, world schooling, unschooling. I was like, man, I didn't even know that kind of stuff existed and that it was possible for us. But as we dove in, we saw, oh yeah, we're taking our kids out of school. We're done with this whole thing. So that's why out school really works well for us so much is Sky can go so deep into whatever subject she wants to learn about and there's no timing or this or that or strict rules where she gets penalized for just being a carefree spirit which i don't ever want anybody to clip those wings because she's very special she's very unique and th that's the way it should be she should be able to do whatever the heck she wants to do my favorite class is ancient sea monsters and like ghost stories and stuff they're really really fun and they get teaching me all about like ghosts and really cool stuff something that uh, something that sky is probably taking every single one that's on out school is survival classes ever since sky was young she was obsessed with survival stuff and would make little survival kits and if the apocalypse happened and so when she saw that there was classes on out school a couple of years ago i think she's taken every single one it, that's the kind of stuff that you just don't find anywhere else and so like i said 140,000 classes whatever a kid crazy idea they have they're gonna find a class on it on out school and so sky what are some other things that you're taking right now i am taking a drawing one and a math one. I really, really like the drawing one because you get to draw like this, these really cool stuff. Last week I drew a parakeet and I drew like really perfect. So that's really fun. And I really like my math one. So it's really funny because when people do ask us about what we do about our kids' education, I really think out school is sort of like a secret weapon. It's good for homeschoolers, unschoolers, world schoolers, road schoolers, whatever type of schooling that you do, it's amazing. And if your kids are in school, it works just as well because it's or it could be your supplemental thing for what your kids are really interested in. I really wanted to show you a day in the life of what it looks like for our kids because a lot of people are always messaging us going, what, but what about your kids' education and what about this? And it's pretty easy, you know? We wake up, we do our daily stuff, our kids hop on classes, as many as they wanna take throughout the day. We don't limit them, we give them budgets for what they can do for the month, and so we help them pick and choose the classes, and they have their sort of like little mock schedule throughout the day, every day of the week. When we sit still for a minute, even for a month at a time, we like to get the kids involved in whatever we can, what's going on in the area. Right now, they're all doing sports, Ryder's doing soccer, Nixon's doing volleyball, and Sky is trying flag football. So right now they have two practices back to back. So it's kind of like a rush trying to get them there on time. And uh, that's part of life for the next month. What do you got going on? Huh? What do you got going on? All right, so I have a Zoom that I have to be a part of right now. For but, what? What is it for? Uh, TikTok. TikTok, I can't tell you, it's top secret. Huh? What are we doing right now? All right, so you're going to flag football. I am going to bring her to volleyball. Then I have to come back, pick you guys up, and then go back to pick up Nixon. So it's a little crazy today. Always keeping it fun and interesting, that's for sure. volleyball practice for Nixon. Uh, they just wrapped up and luckily we got Sky beforehand because their time is now actually at the same exact time, four and five, between four and five. So it's like a mad dash. So Nixon absolutely is obsessed with volleyball. So it's really exciting. 
on to sushi. All right, so to keep things truly interesting and trying something new fashion, while Nixon's in volleyball and Sky's in flag football, Ryder has another out school class and so he's doing it in the car. Ryder, what are you, what are you doing back there? I'm doing a class. You like it? Yeah. What is your class on? Roblox. Say what? <laughs> What do you got here, These are avocado hand rolls. Is that your favorite? Oh, so we have a sweet potato tempura roll with soy paper. And I have like tons of wasabi, so it's like a paste that I have. All right, guys, we got some full bellies, and now we're off to the next adventure. Can't wait to show you what it is. What? I and mean, then we're gonna pull away. All right, how you feeling, Ryan? How you feeling, buddy? <laughs> what are you excited? What do you think going on tonight? What are you I don't know what I'm okay. dreaming. All right, so me and Sandy are a little bit of impatient parents, and it's hard for us to hold a secret. We have an amazing secret for the kids. What? And Sandy is bringing the, uh, the secret in right now. I think it's a hamster. A hamster? I think really? it's spilled the secret. I think it's Nana. I think it's Nana or Hamster, that's why you had the blanket to so they to don't get come. on the couch. Oh, look at him! Look at him! Ah, I spoiled you! Alright, can you guys wait for the secret? No! What do you think? What do you think? This is so funny. Alright, you guys wanna come out? What do you think's under there? I don't know! Are you ready guys? Three! Oh! Ten! One! Oh my god! 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 Guys, that's what you thought? Did you guys think it was Nana I or said, a hamster? I said it was a hamster, and I touched it, and I was like, oh, that's a hamster. <laughs> Would you guys wish we wait till Christmas morning? No. no. Okay. We, we thought you were gonna keep it at Grandma's. Yes, yeah. I was going to, until Christmas morning. No. Wait, we need three of them, though. Why? All right, so they're out there. We only got one, but we really got three. So we're gonna surprise them again. This thing is the cutest thing on earth. Oh, it is so fast. soft. Wait, oh, we need three. She's so fast. Whoa. I'm buying two more. Turbo. So Hi. guys, guys, guess what? No, no, <laughs> no. So there's three hamsters. You are making my You're life joking. complete right now. You're joking. <laughs> You're joking. Oh my gosh! So, hold on, let me go. Wait, I want this one! Oh, she's me! Oh, I, I want this one! one. <laughs> I'm so happy we have three! Oh, Jamie, hold on, look. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh. It's a rocket ship! Holy, I'm gonna die. I'm seriously gonna die. So, what do you guys think? It's about. It's the little sucking tube. So they might push it. I'm so happy I got the white one. The white one like matches me. So we got dwarf hamsters. Mine's name is Speedy Gonzalez. Mine's name is Mrs. Walker. And next Mine's name is Coconut, Coco, or Sushi. Water. No, Ryder using that as a brand. Alright guys, so that was a day in the life. Uh, Full-time RVers, unschoolers, digital nomads, and now pet and owners. And oh, no, par. These kids are now parents. So we hope you guys have a great holiday season. We hope you got to spend a little bit of time with your family. We hope your days aren't as crazy as ours, or maybe they are, and that's <sighs> awesome too. Yeah. But guys, whatever you do, get out there and try, try something new. Woo! Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Oh, 2013. 23! Here we come! Also, yes, Woo. yes, you did. And also, also, wait, Dad, don't pause. Yeah, me. go. Um, also, I got, we got, um, 
a card for them, but we're gonna return that, and then we got a play pen. Sponsor out to my YouTube channel. Yeah, my YouTube channel is Coyote Sponsor Cow. Sponsor out, you said? Gaming Rye Guy. We are mothers, and he's a father.